welcome. Brad's house. Nothing special. Just another dump in Long Beach. You know, I call home. Welcome back, guys. It's been a long, long Corona time. I know it's been a long time, but we're back and we're gonna be making some videos for you guys and we're gonna be answering a lot of questions that I've been getting over the last, what has it been, nine months? Eight, nine like months nine years. of Corona, it seems like a year. Well, we can say that 2020 isn't quite as perfect vision as 2020 thought it was gonna be. It's more like 2019. <laughs> and uh, we're back and Brad's cars are running. I'd say not all of them, but all but one of them. Uh, we, got the, we got the tea bucket back together. You guys all saw that my son built the motor, put it back in the car. Uh, right now, we're actually rebuilding the fuel system. Um, we're gonna go over that today. I'm gonna show you guys a little bit about what I did and how I fucked up years ago by putting regular rubber lines on an E85 system and it came back to rob me or haunt me. So we're gonna show you guys that today as well as we got the motor for the Tacoma build and it's sitting ready to get put in. Now give it my filmer slash editor slash now welder needs to do a few more little touch-ups on some parts that she did for us. Which, thank you very much, Narina. She did weld our headers for us and she's gonna finish up welding the motor mounts. We're gonna get those in and the motor slammed in today. Now, funny part about today was I got off work at my regular time and I got an emergency phone call. Uh, part of my job, as you guys all may know or don't know, is maintenance for Stizzy in downtown LA. Now, downtown LA Stizzy is on a generator system, meaning it runs off of a diesel generator. We have a primary and a secondary generator system. Our primary generator system is now puking oil and leaking Friday at one o'clock. And I'm getting an emergency phone call to come back to swap to our secondary generator system. So instead of filming for you guys and doing what I really wanna do and work in the backyard, me and Arena are running all the way back down to downtown LA, which if you guys all look on the map, Long Beach is here, downtown LA is here. It's about 22 miles away, but with LA traffic, that's good for at least an hour. So we're gonna jump down to Stizzy. We're gonna swap this generator out. I'm gonna give you guys a little show of what I actually do for Stizzy. And then we're gonna get back to working on cars. So thank you, hold on. It's gonna be a long day. We're here at my work. That's the primary generator and secondary generator. And the reason why we're on these generators is because we're waiting for this service to get done. We've been waiting in line for our basic upgrade for power, and this is what we're running on. This is Dan, that's our manager. Hey, how you Say doing? Say hi to the camera, Dan. Hi, camera. Lifesaver right here. Okay, Brad, let me tell you what we're gonna do. I'm, I'm gonna go up the roof. You're gonna knock those ACs. I'm gonna shut them all down. All right. I'll message you when they're shut down. I'll knock the. the then you turn that. Breakers off. Then you'll switch those. Yes, sir. Then you break them back on and let me know. And they're ready for us to turn off. They are. I'm gonna tell them right now. How we're probably five minutes out. Right? Five minutes out. All right. So we're good. So I'll text you once I've got them all off. And I'll go in and hit all the breakers in the room. So what he's gonna do is he's gonna go up on the roof and turn all the air conditioners off. I'm gonna go into our main electrical service room, turn all our breakers off, and what we're gonna do is switch from one generator to another generator so that we're not leaking oil and not gonna blow up. Subbreakers, which are these are all our little transformers throughout the building, and then this is the big breaker. This is the service disconnect for all those subbreakers. We got to basically, it's just a process that we got to do in order to protect the equipment that we have inside of our building. So now we're going to go to our generator, we're going to turn the generator off, swap the main power lead, and then start the new generator. 
And as you can see, our customers are dying. I mean, they're just literally lined up. Like by the time we're done, the line's gonna even be further. Luckily enough, our uh, company that we actually lease these from sent out a check. So he can, he can start it up for me. It's pretty simple. There's a couple buttons you gotta push. You gotta tell the generator what it needs. Fire it up, let it warm up. Complete the breaker. Got a pro. So, he's now turned the generator back on the power. We're gonna go back into the main room. We're gonna turn the power back on in the main building. The security will be super happy now. And then we're gonna go walk through the building and just check to make sure everything's okay. And then we're done and we get to go back and be Bad Daddy Baddy's garage again. So now we just flipped everything back on in reverse. We're gonna walk through the dispensary, make sure lights, everything in the inside is done and good and working. And then hopefully we can get out of here. So let's go cut this line. So basically we're gonna walk through the dispensary, tell everybody that it's on and so everything's working. Apologize. Hi, how are you doing? Good, how are you today? It's the same joke, <laughs> different day. So you can go ahead and just come on. She's with me. <laughs> so years ago, when we started this project, this is the first time I ever did LED lighting and LED lighting control. So this was actually one of the first things that I installed in this place before it was ever built. You guys are good. Um, very proud of my piece of shit LED lighting, you guys. All right, guys. So you saw the you saw the whole generator issue. That's why we had to run back. So another hour of our lives were out. But while we're here, we're gonna give you guys a little tour. This is the expansion of Stizzy. This is downstairs of a two-story facility. That, this is why we're upgrading the electric and why we have the generators is because we need more power. This is one of the first bedrooms that we started. It's a huge bedroom with automated lighting systems that go up and down, automated feeding systems, basically everything you can. It's like the Ferrari of grow rooms. This is one of the bedrooms. Now, if you go down this hallway, these are dry rooms, that's why they look a little skinny and funny, because they actually have to have a dry room for pretty much every flower room, or for half the flower rooms, we have to have a dry room. This is what's called our tank room, and this is where all of the tanks get mixed for newts, water, everything, is all done in here. And it's a big automated machine. It's not done right now, but there's a computer here that actually dispenses the, the actual fluids. Basically, we went out the back door of the brand new facility and we're leaving the one and we're going into where I work primarily. Um, I service this building and I help out, but it's not most of my day. Most of my day is concentrated in the cultivation side and not in our dispensary side. It is nice being in there. It's really clean and beautiful and everybody's, you know, nice. Now we're going to go into cultivation and you guys can see the difference of how cultivation is versus how dispensaries are. So now we're in the cultivation side. Everything is locked up and secret and on code. And there's the big box. So oh, he is big. I told you, he's like a giraffe. <laughs> he's like 7'4". No, this is Hi. Preston. Preston is actually a skater guy and a grower and a really good buddy. But he's also the guy that calls me at three o'clock after I'm home and I'm supposed to be doing videos with you guys. So if there's a reason why I don't have videos, just call and tell hey, Preston. Everybody has to cast blame on somebody. <laughs> he's got an email if you guys want to send him some. <laughs> send me emails. Thank you very much. Everything's good. Hey, thank you for coming. So the tank room we showed you across the street is being produced. It's being produced to be just like this. And these are all automated systems. They basically run off solenoids. And the solenoids feed each room. If you look at these containers, they're going to tell you A6. That's actually a hallway or a room. This is one of our growers. He's kind of high. This is Ish. This is my good buddy. He's like the most mechanical guy here. He can hang up a towel rack for anybody. So all you single women out there, Ish is free. All right. This is one hallway, you guys. So all the rooms on this side have flowering. So basically rooms full and full of wheat. They look kind of like that. Now they're at different stages, because you can look at the things, this is week four, and everything takes about 10 weeks. So if you want to see something that's really pretty, try to find something that's in like nine or later. Three, four, five, six, it's small buds, it's like 
nose out. I don't know. This one we just replanted. These are real, real babies. See, there's like no buds at all on those ones. Huh. So now, we're talking about moms and bedroom. So the girls that we spent, uh, introduced you to, they work in here. In fact, there's more of them in here. Bianca, where are you going? So this is the manager of Veg. Bianca, you're on the channel now. Come on, say hi, please. And she has to take care of all this mess. This is her deal. Every day she gets to come in here and deal with all of these. This is the same room that I showed you over there that was all empty. All right. This is another hallway that matches that hallway. This is the same room, same thing. We have the A side and the B side. And we'll find the this room, the tank, right here. This is the room you want to stay in here. So go ahead and lock in here. These are the big, fat, hairy buds that are going to get pulled and smells like, you know. So in here is anywhere from between 120 and 140 pounds. Each room produces anywhere from 120 to 140 pounds. Mainly what I have to service are these stupid things because they get broken and sprayed. Those stupid things, which are the dehumidifiers and the air conditioners and the thermostats, always break. Kids to come and play and hang out. We have our electrical, we have our plumbing, of course, we have our TV, you know, watching Jerry because you know you couldn't be watching anything but Jerry right now. We got my toolbox, which I forgot to lock when I left, so when I came back, I can now lock my toolbox. But check out the support, the love, night crew, night crew, day crew, <laughs> night crew. Later, guys. All right, guys, so we're back from Stizzy. Now, normally that doesn't happen, but today it did. And we tr I am trying to work on my cars at least one day a week, if not two, despite other interruptions and other factors. So it's back now, three o'clock, and we're gonna get started on what we have. You guys all know this car. This car is back together. And I told you guys earlier I was being cheap, and I'll show you what I was being cheap by. But it's not necessarily cheap. This stuff is really expensive. I mean, these ends are quite costly, and same with this hose. But this hose is not designed for E85. And I ran E85 in these hoses for almost two years. Now the problem with it is the alcohol is eating the inside of the hose and the inside of the hose is going through and getting clogged in the injectors. So my injector issue, one of the bigger problems is debris getting caught into it. And I've had problems with the debris going from the tires through the gas cap and down in. And I know it sounds weird, but it does do that. And now I'm having debris from these lines. So I basically took all the lines off and I'm gonna do them all in PTF. So my lines from the back of the car to the front of the car, like this, are all steel braided and Teflon. But the ones that were distribu distributing from the regulator and the rails were all rubber. And I had planned to change them, it's just uh, money and this and that and two years went by and you know, that's what everybody knows because that's cheap. Yeah. So now we're gonna go to all stainless. We're gonna wrap it up with the good uh, thermal shield. Thermatech, thank you Thermatech for sending us the wrap for the headers, the spark plug wire boots, and the sleeving for all of our tubing. So we're gonna sleeve it, we're gonna tube it, and we're gonna make it all, all better for this car. This car is running and driving. I literally just took the fuel lines off to rebuild them two nights ago. But this car is ready to go to the track. We got new slicks, good use slicks, and we got paddles because we are actually going to go take it to the dirt and send it down the sand drags. So sand drags and regular drags are coming soon. All right, let's get to the Tacoma, which is what I've been dying to finish and my kids have been dying to finish. Uh, I need to just bolt the transmission up to the motor and then we're going to grab the cherry picker 
put the cherry picker on here, slide it in. We had already pre-built motor mounts. So if you guys watch the video behind us, we built the motor mounts, me and Narina, and now Narina has to just finish welding them. So we'll show you a little video of her doing some final welds on the motor mounts that we've just got done building. And we're gonna show you this getting put in there. Now, at that point, once we get the motor put in, I got some Motion Raceworks accessories that I've got to put on. First of all, these cheap valve covers came with no breathers. So thank you, Motion Raceworks. You can tell how dirty it has been for hair. But they gave us some Dash 10 kits to put on here so we can put breathers on our uh, valve covers. As well as Motion Raceworks gave us the steam kit, which goes underneath the intake manifold and attaches all the heads so that you can bleed the air out of it. A great kit. On top of we're going to add the freeze plug knockout kit so that it doesn't knock the freeze plugs out. This isn't a boosted motor, this is just a regular, in fact these motors are exactly the same. They're 5.7 liters with an LS9 cam and factory heads. So same motor, just normally aspirated with uh, nitrous and turbocharged. Um, thank you Motion Raceworks, amazing products. Um, we already have the pointer put on right here. Uh, we have the accessories left to do. I'm waiting for a few more pulleys before we can put those back on, but that's where we're there at that. So let's get to putting this into there. Let's do it. Look at this man. 70 years old, able to carry a transmission. 70. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> 70. Really? That's about how old you are, right? Yeah, 70. What's cool about this thing is, normally you have to run a spacer adapter. This guy made our, our uh, flex, or our torque converter custom so that we don't have to use this adapter. He also engraved Mad Taco on it. So I wanna thank you TCS Converters in Havasu. They built this converter and the toy shop in Pomona, California did the Turbo 400 transmission. God, these torque converters are amazing. I have them in all of my cars. Every car I own has a TCS torque converter and they've been amazing through the years being able to use them and call them if I have any problems. They're just on point every single time. Never an issue. Another amazing Motion Raceworks item. Thank you guys, everybody should have one of these. This makes putting and putting the motor, pulling the motor and putting the motor so easy. Let me just tell you guys, this is the bread and butter right here. And it holds all your hardware for you. Just good kit. Thank you, Doug. That's a good angle. Lift the old tranny out. Slide her in. Get off the way. Hood pin. That would be cool if that dropped in. It just said, boom! So cool. All right guys, so we're running into a little problem. Um, these look really good. I like the way everything sits. She's gonna go ahead and weld these parts up. I wanna plate this part here, and I wanna plate this part here so that it has more resistance from it going up and down. So we don't have any of this material right now, which is unfortunate because we were ready to get that done. So we are gonna take a break. We're gonna end this video today. I wanna thank you guys all for watching. I wanna say thank you for paying any attention to me and waiting for me to get back but we will finish this project we're gonna race that project and we're gonna do fun stuff with that so stay tuned thank you I want to thank all the sponsors Holly Durrell um, 
Everybody I'm Forgetting, Nitrous Express, Max Speeding Rods, um, TCS Converters, The Toy Shop, uh, Motion Raceworks. Thank you guys all. I couldn't do it without you guys.